So before we start the next mission, I want you to actually change something up. Uh, in the next mission, we're kind of short on units. So for Zerglings, uh, I have normally this on for tanking. Uh, put on attack speed. Trust me on this. And also for Roach, uh, Roach is actually okay because I already have him on light damage. Basically, you want abilities that kind of help when you don't have a whole lot of Hydralisks or a whole lot of Roaches. I'm going to have Frenzy on for these guys. You can switch them at any time, I'm just telling you before I actually begin. The Protoss have launched a vessel from the dark side of Calder. We are still able to sense its presence, but time is running short. One of your ships escaped. Then you need only await the Golden Armada. Your death will be swift. I'm sorry. For what? Slaughtering my people? For what I must do to you. Your friends on that ship can sense you. They know they left one behind. No. But they can't warp you to their ship because I'm blocking them. No! No! But if I drop the veil. Do not warp me in, Templar! Do not! You let the other Protoss take her? She will be their death. The, the Templar must be warned. Now. Listen carefully. This ship contains many dangers. Follow my commands and hide in the shadows. You will consume and grow. Infest this ship and kill every last Protoss on board. Oh, we're a cute little larva now. Doing a stealth mission. So, this is another one of those easy missions which is really difficult to lose. Now go and spawn your brood. What was that noise? All right. He's gone. Consume. A sentry. Hide in the steam vents until it passes. Priority one established. All other priorities rescinded. Patrolling. There's no way around those zealots. Invade the Ursidon and crush them. The Zerg have infested the Ursidon! So the Protoss think they have a few infested animals. They have no idea what they're up against. You got a nice little crushing ability here, so, you know, use it whenever you can. The time has come for you to grow into a brood mother. Oh, it's over here. Nothing's there. Yeah, just some other part of the ship. Well, now we go to a safe place. Move Larva onto this beacon. It literally tells you when you click stuff what to do. Stop here. This area is safe from prying eyes. Evolve. Grow. Now we have a brood mother. Now, uh, if you, whatever upgrades you got from before, they carry on here. So, in this case, I'm going to actually get, uh, Swarmlings. You are Niadra. This is your purpose. Spawn a brood and destroy the Protoss. Kill them all. I live to serve. Kill these creatures. I can consume their biomass and use it to grow our brood. The Zerg have infiltrated our vessel. Warriors, destroy them! So, um, the thing that makes this, this, this level so pathetically easy is the fact that this shit's free. You're only limited by supply. Like it's, it's, it's garbage. It, it's absolute garbage. <laughs> uh, it's sort, it's sort of disappointing to be honest. Uh, especially on like brutal. All you have to do is keep Niadra alive. There's, 
maybe a bit of a challenge a little bit later, but it really doesn't matter. Also, if you keep Neadra near your Zerglings, uh, she she will uh, she will heal them. Of course, focus the pylon, the infamous uh, destroy all Protoss trick of they need pylons, but you won't let them have them. This vent is our only way forward. Go. Oh, let's go kill that. So I'll see if there's any over there. So the Zerglings have to go on with their own little scouting mission. Of, and of course if they all die, then you just remake there. them. That structure powers the shield. Our the shield no longer blocks my path. Let us move forward. A strong energy emanates from this part of the ship. What is its purpose? Time has come. I don't know, you just do this. So, she unfortunately cannot join us again. It's all to the Zergling Scout Squadron to go and deal with us. It is overwhelming. You found their warp drive. Destroy it, and this vessel will never reach Shakuras. She can help. Oh, she can't dance. The shield is down. I'll destroy the warp drive myself. Just in case you don't know what to do, destroy this with Deidre's ranged attack. The hunt continues. As you desire. This vessel will burn. Move her closer just so that the healing actually takes effect. A warp drive breach has occurred. Evacuate immediately. Contain them! The Zerg must not reach the stasis chambers! You will not hold back the swarm! <laughs> and Gaul Gaul's down this from me. Say hi everyone say hi to Gaul. Uh, and and now we're basically done here. We just gotta wait. They basically just trolled me with their uh, with their little force field thingy. Explosions have stopped. Wait, there is a disturbance in the chamber ahead. Emergency. Power failure detected. Awakening Protoss warriors from stasis. Alright, we won't be going into there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually head back for just a brief minute. Uh, I am the she she can't she can't make anymore. All you do is you just spam create units, and so you go over here, and there's an Easter egg, the only one I know of. Pollen Powerade, the small print on the side says esports is what you make it. All right, let me go and poop out some more guys. Well, this guy comes back to help us. This is why we did the attack damage. They're gonna be part of it. Okay, good. We need to make the most of our. Uh... It's time to evolve and expand your control over your brood, Niadra. And now we can make roaches. Roaches is kind of nice, especially since we have that light damage bonus. Can't complain. Exterminate the specimens. Do not allow the Zerg to consume them. Kill their warriors. I must have that biomass. For the swarm. She's got it, believe me. I love queuing up things like that. I feel like such a badass. This vessel will burn. I got everything here. Yep. We must have that biomass. And Neatra in the mix, she'll just kill everyone slowly so that it makes them that much more powerful. Oops, why, why did I do that? I don't even know. I just felt like burrowing. Oh, someone had a size storm here. Alright, well, let's go get some more roaches. And so remember, if you need units in a pinch to d defend Niadra, uh, that's what the swarmlings are for. They're really good at that. Get her to help out. 
the hardest part about this next one is the this thing. So it's I'm gonna make a bunch of zerglings. Hopefully, so that that so the mortal actually wastes its time. Why would you use that thing? Well, I guess it works against the roaches. And these things are now coming out. And it's a little more. And this, you know, this is just why her aura is so terrific. It makes this really, really super easier. Alright, go harvest the rest of these. You need all the biomass you can get. Evolve, grow stronger. The final battle approaches. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. Split up your zerglings. Um, can I actually shift select? No, I can't. Okay. I was gonna say split them up. Okay, so this is what you need to do. Half of them need to go attack this side, and half... Oh, uh, apparently they're all gonna go crazy. That's what you need to do. That's, that's for a bit of a bonus. Come, beast. We have Protoss to destroy. As you desire. Yes. Yeah, we get some more biomass out of that. They 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 start killing the animals, which is why we're we were trying not to. The hunt continues. And after this, the pressure begins. So, just warning you. Might as well get some. Uh... Unacceptable command. Oh, I can't get anything else. Okay, we're done. We obey. The Protoss are fortifying the bridge. Prepare your forces. We will be prepared. The great thing about this guy is he's good for one thing. A big fucking leap attack which stuns everything which he's not doing right now. There you go. The ship has taken us as far as it can. Prepare the escape pods. You're gonna make him run away. Destroy the pods before they launch. The Protoss must not reach Shakuras. And we'll just take remember these escape pods launch pretty fast, so be kind of cautious about that. And also, this asshole makes, like, hallucinations. I'm gonna stun them. Oh, no, no. Fuck. Unfortunately, I've been making, uh, I'm making roaches this entire time. I probably should add some more variety. This vessel will burn. We're running out of time. Destroy the escape pods now! Jesus, just say please. That's all you have to do. We obey. There's some over here. We will not go quietly into the void. You know, with all these armored units, maybe the maybe the roaches aren't the best because they have the bonus to armored, so. And then we have the last one to deal with right here. So I use a little frenzy ability on my hydralisks, and they are now attacking much faster. And I'm going to pump out a bunch of swarmlings. And I think they're distracting enough that we can actually have some guys purposely focus that. Swarmlings come out so fast. We will never be defeated. We give our lives for the cult. There will never be defeated. It gets defeated. They have no escape pods anymore. That's it. Their ace card. Their ace card is done. I think I have to kill this pylon. So I'm gonna send some guys over. And I guess I'll just poop out some more swarmlings because they're just so amazing. There's <laughs> so many. I love them. Only for this mission, though. Mike doesn't like them for any other mission. Oh, we actually killed them all. The pylons don't count. The Protoss are no more, my queen. My queen, can you hear me? We are alone. The Queen of Blades has given us one purpose. 
to destroy the Protoss. We will be prepared. We will serve again. Wait, where did they get the minerals for the hatcheries? Whatever. So, uh, I collected 450 biomass. Uh, the only other thing is you can't reach a let a escape pod reach 20 seconds. So that's a normal, so whatever. There's no turning back now. I do not understand. The Protoss will never forgive what I've done here. If my becoming human again eased their fears, well, I've given them new reasons to be afraid. But I'm not going to wait for them to come after me. I'll strike first. Our Leviathan is able to travel to another world at your command. It is done. The Golden Armada will never know we were here. I am glad that Protoss is no longer aboard our Leviathan. Her psionic presence was disturbing. She died bravely, trying to save her friends. Why do you care how the Protoss died? I will kill anyone in my way. That doesn't mean I enjoy it. Even Arcturus Mengsk, my queen? Will his death bring you no joy? Stop talking, Isha. Uh, thank you. That, that's what I want to hear. Good. Alright, so let's see where we are in terms of her level. Just one more. Not very much more. She just does a bit more damage. Evolution Pit. What's, what do we have for here? Placed Parasite into Protoss Host. Yes. What about it? Clever. Lateral thinking. Protoss not able to be infested, but can still be host to foreign organism. Origins of Parasite unknown. I made it, Abathur. You're not the only one who can spin sequences. Revelation. We'll continue work. And we have another evolution mission. Roach strain ready for augmentation. Protoss research facilities discovered. Experiments within, useful to evolve swarm, must acquire, destroy Protoss, improve swarm. Planet Kantar, concealed Protoss facility. Many Protoss specimens. Captive Scantipede is virulent parasite. Well then, why don't we let it out to play? We had roaches there the whole time. It's not much of a concealed Protoss facility. Implants parasites into host, erupt from corpse. Essence must be ours. Protoss must not destroy. It, we're destroying it anyways, so I don't really see the point. Do you possess the most basic of micro skills? I certainly hope you do. Oh, good stuff. Essence acquired. Roaches modified with parasitic sequence. Corpser strain implants roachling parasite erupts from enemy's corpse. Push forward. Leave no survivors. We have baby roach roaches. Uh, they're so cute. They they have like half the health. It's basically like a new time roach. Let the roachlings attack the enemy first. Eh, you know, the thing, the, the problem with that is you're, you're pressured to continue to push up, basically, with this, and that's why I wouldn't recommend it. Kind of meh. It, it serves as a distraction, though, but, you know, as I said, it's, these are all side grades anyways. These, these missions are meant to, like, just wreck these enemies. I can't do my micro thing. We're gonna just keep warping in. 
They're designed in such a manner, like, it's just... It, you're, you're supposed to just wreck this thing. Are these light units? Oh, cool, they're light opposed to these ones. Nice. Protoss destroyed. Scantipede essence secure. Planet Melus 4. Environment used to guide evolution. Microbial organisms reproduce within pools. Generations of roaches ordered to consume. Most organs seize up, die. Survivors adapted, formed symbiotic bond with microbes. New strain, vile roach, ready for command. I sense Protoss forces nearby. Let's see these new roaches in combat. Now, the reason why this is so amazing is, take a look. Vile strain. Acid saliva coats enemy. Slows movement. Slows attacks. Systems unresponsive. They, they attack 75% slower. And you can also kite. So you can- look at- look at- look at all this fighting. It's great. Except I- I kinda just got hit. So I- I don't really care, this is too easy to fucking spend my- spend hours kiting. The, the game won't let you die, as I said. These are not tuned to brutal at all, so who cares. Might as well spread out the attack a little bit. Oh, they're gonna, do, they're gonna do Blink Micro. I know, we have to kill this whole force with just three. Oh, never mind. And we'll just kill this guy. And just kill him. Target the Colossuses. And we're all done. Vile strain successful. Protoss eliminated. Must prepare sequences. Returning to evolution pit. Sequences ready for integration. Await decision. So you'll spawn into two enemies damaged uh, by the roach will spawn into two roach things that killed quickly. Or there's this one which you basically slow them to a fucking crawl. Evolution complete. If you're planning on doing a lot of roach hydra, keep these guys at the front. Alright, so uh, briefly we're just going to just undo what we did here. I'm going to give them some more health just so they're more tanky. Uh, the Roach, uh, I guess he can keep that for now. Uh, there's nothing else I really want them to have. I'm still, you know, I, I, I am kind of liking this Frenzy thing, so maybe I'll keep it for now. It's kind of nice to have that for, that kind of DPS, uh, on a heartbeat. And so that's basically it. Now we're, now we have the new Roaches. Cool. And, uh, we're gonna travel to another seventh system. And a random proto ship is following us.
Zerath, birthplace of the Zerg. Here the Zerg evolved, and here the Dark One altered them. Those left behind are the Primal Zerg. That cutscene it makes no sense. He eats something and immediately gains its power. It's drag this is like Dragon Ball Z now. So we can either go to Zerus uh, right away if you're impatient, uh, but if you're uh, cool, you'll pr you probably should finish up Char first. Uh, we just gotta do it in order. So let's go to Char. Char has long been home to the swarm's primary hive cluster in the Caprulu sector. Zerg and Terran factions vie for control of the planet. To reunite the swarm, you will need to reconquer Char. Your first opponent will be the renegade broodmother Zagara. She will not surrender her brood to you without a fight. Oh, here we are. The Dominion sure made themselves at home while I was gone. Once I've reclaimed my forces, General Warfield is getting evicted. I cannot detect the Dark Templar. Is he hidden on the Leviathan, waiting to strike? He's gone. Whatever agenda he's pursuing, he's not a threat to me. Not right now, at least. Isn't anything not Zerg a threat to us? Do not question me, Isha. As you say, my queen. Did the Broodmother Zagara try to take you with her? No, not powerful enough to command me. Only you. If she lacks that power, how did she think she could command the Swarm? Adaptation. Place herself in situation where only option, evolution, force change on herself. So she may have evolved into something much more dangerous. That will make things interesting. Okay, well, that's uh, the end of this mission, so we will do some char stuff uh, next time. Bye.